Hey everyone, whether you're a student or just curious to know more about infectious mononucleosis, this video will give you all the information you need. Infectious mononucleosis is also known as kissing disease or glandular fever. Common people usually refer to it as mono, which is derived from mononucleosis. This disease is caused by a virus called EB or the Epstein-Barr virus belonging to the herpes family. The infection spreads through close personal contact. The leading cause of infection is intimate kissing, which is why it's been called kissing disease. Any form of salivary exchange with an infected individual can spread the disease, including sharing a toothbrush or a beverage. After four to eight weeks of incubation, the virus successfully causes the disease in our bodies. Clinical diagnosis of infectious mononucleosis is usually difficult. It is more common in children and young adults. Fever, fatigue and malaise are the first signs of disease. It is characterized by sore throat, enlarged tonsils and copious cheesy yellow exudate. As you can see in this picture, it causes very evident cervical lymphadenopathy or swelling of the cervical lymph nodes which gives it the name glandular fever. Sometimes petechiae or ulcerative lesions may be seen on the mucosa at the junction of the hard and soft palate. Systemically, infectious mononucleosis causes hepatitis and enlargement of the spleen. The condition is called mononucleosis because there is an increase in a particular type of mononuclear white blood cell, that is, lymphocytes. Blood tests show the presence of unusual or atypical lymphocytes. Other tests used to detect heterophile antibodies, which mean the antibodies produced by our immune system in response to the EB virus. Paul Bunel reaction and monospot test are used to diagnose infectious mononucleosis. What about the treatment of mono? Thankfully, it is a self-limiting condition which means the body fights it off in two to four weeks without the need of medication. For a speedy recovery, it is highly recommended that you stay hydrated, get plenty of rest and use over-the-counter pain and fever medication if required. I hope this video helps you remember everything important about the kissing disease. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.